Okay, that's Dwayne. He and his buddies I have not located this brother bodies of their comrades. He's a little upset about that. He's a little upset about that. And he's pushing them to search a little more, calling them cowards, and he wants to be rid of this city. However, his prayers for mistress of fate not being as cruel to him as it was to his comrades are going to be unanswered. This game sets that guy up to be a main character, but <laughs> alas, that that's not going to happen. Doors locked with the crimson key, that's going to be a while. Let's save. I'm not sure how the bet, how, um long this video is going to be due to the fact that we're having some serious serious issues with uh, the playback here that I haven't encountered in this game yet I'm not quite sure why that is Let's save it we'll go a little bit farther and see if we can't say hi to Dwayne more little Dwayne Spoiler alerts all over the place for Dwayne, but you know, he's a good guy. He doesn't want to use the dark, he just wants to leave this town. He's a man who just wants to go home, slap his wife, and beat his kids and have a drink. And I'm not going to say there's anything particularly wrong with that kind of misogyny. The only problem is he's about to cross paths with Ashley Riot, and Ashley Riot, well, is probably completely insane. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, the death clock has a human 16. Let's, let's take out the death clock. Beat some people with a club. <laughs> okay. Which way do we go? Hmm, we got a couple different choices here. Let's look at the map. We are in the Rue Vermilion. We are in the town center west. Uh, hmm. What do you say, boys and girls? You want to go left? Let's go left. We have reached the river. This was where Duane was standing. This is the shop he was talking about. Bronze and iron. Look at the map. I like looking at the map if you haven't noticed. I do, I do, I do like looking at the map. The map of awesome. But, uh, you know, let's keep going. Oh, it is horrible. What is going on? Oh, a heel panel trap. We'll take that. Well, find anything? Not but dust on this side, sir. We should join the others then. Yet crossing the river means it's too dangerous inside the city walls. You heard what befell our brothers. Yet we waste our time here. The cold ones will not walk under the sun. Soon night will fall. I'll have to find another way around. He 
he didn't speak, but there's a soldier sitting over there that's um, Dwayne's brother. I have to find another way around. Dwayne's brother Grissom. We'll be seeing quite a bit of him. Okay, um I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna like hop over to the save point though. I'm gonna try and sneak in one more boss fight because it's a favorite of mine. If we can. And then I'm gonna try and work uh, on figuring out what is going on with this game. Which seems to be desyncing all over the place. But those are the Crimson Blades. You know, they made it through. Some of them killed themselves. There's death everywhere, and a lot of them don't want to stay here. A lot of them are a little nervous, and they should be, because most of them are going to die. Now, as for Ashley Riot, he is about to engage in some rather sophisticated head bashing. So let's get this club out. Let's go over here. so wisely and you may yet live. Now tell me where Sydney hides. Save your breath, knight. You fools think the dark will bend to you. We are prelates of the Lord, scum. Would that be a Jorah Glabados, Dwayne? We are not here to bend aught. We are come to cleanse. <laughs> now. There is still time. Pray. Pray, perhaps you will forgive. And I will pardon your sins in his name. Go to hell. So in those who serve the dark. So in those who serve the dark. Wrong voice. What mean you? Samantha. <laughs> it's a nice rose tattoo on your tit. The dark is formless and invisible. It invades the body like a plague and an unseen visitor. Yet those it taints become undying. Undying? Yes. They do not die. But he did die. He turned to dust, leaving no trace. Did he not? What is death? Is it the ruination of the flesh? Surely that is death, but it is only one facet of truth. And true death is the death of the soul. And theirs is not a true death. Even should their flesh crumble to decay, their souls will wander eternally. The undying of their Monday do not do die, but it is an incomplete death. An incomplete death, that's what she said. Trapped in purgation, they yearn for life, thus they seek bodies without souls. In the corpses that walk are born. They say the howl of the north wind is the cry of the wandering souls. Grissom, gather our remaining men. Join with Tager's knights and crush Mullenkarl. Go. Now oh, that's Grissom. Hmm. I get those two confused. By your command.
Will the same happen to me? Yes. You will not die, liar. And... And... Romeo? There is one who has found the true one, Death. Immortality, my love. Let us search for this Sydney. So the Cardinal seeks immortality. That's right, but well, it's not that concerns you. An incomplete death's more than a VKP butcher deserves. Alright. This part of the game's awesome. It's to throw your boss fight right after Guildenstern has that awesome monologue in there. Guildenstern and Rosencrantz are gonna be men to be watched, but that's neither here nor there. This is Dwayne with his two little assholes. Just go to work. You know what? Even though it has a higher rating, I'm gonna go with the Fandango here. Simply because it's played. Then, you know, remember your spells. Go prestige on you. You definitely gonna want to do that. And then, at this point in time, is a good time to use the more analyze. Now, Sargic here, get it in your inventory. Now start chaining this boy. I want to take care of his two boys first before Dwayne gets down the stairs. Yeah, Ashley. This guy's fucked. Alright, that's one. 